Governor Gordon Obaseki, whose focus is to finish strong by November 11 next year, said he believes in carrying everyone along as PDP is united in one party without discrimination, noting that there is no old or new PDP. He said next year, by the grace of God, he will be finishing his second term in office and another governor will emerge that will take over from him. Governor Obaseki said he believed that Edo people is one and to maintain that unity, every part of Edo must feel that they are part of Edo. He said Edo Central must be united, saying that the appointment of the SSAs and SAs have been done with that in mind that fair opportunities have been given across board so that those that feel they have not been carried along is reduced. By the grace of God, I will be finishing my term and we will be electing another governor. I, as a person, believe in the unity of Edo. Believe that Edo is one. And for us to continue to have a strong united Edo, every part of Edo must feel that they are part of Edo. Every Edo man and woman must be given the same opportunity. Politics is another thing. That is where all of you, essays, SSAs, councillors, and our political leaders have a big role to play. I want a united Edo, but we must have a united Edo South first, a united Edo Central, a united Edo North, for us to have a united Edo. So Edo Central must be united. And I hope that these appointments have been done with that in mind that fair opportunities have been given across the board so that the number of people who still feel not being carried along are reduced. PDP is one. PDP is one. There is no legacy. There is no new. We are all one PDP. Edo State PDP Chairman Dr. Tony Azimbe may thank the Governor of Edo State, Mr. Gordon Obaseki, for his stand as he has been a just, fair, and equitable person, as these characteristics of fairness and equity will be the guiding principles and process of nominating the party's candidates for 2024. On his part, the immediate past senator representing Edo Central Senatorial District, Engineer Clifford Odia, also thanked Governor Basiki for his uprightness and his focus in, in developing the state as well as keeping the state in unity. This party, under its leadership, we move ahead towards the most important, perhaps, election in our lives in 2024. For us as a party, I'm sure some of you have read the communique after yesterday's state working committee meeting where we rolled out a few things and that will give you a pointer to what we are thinking at the level of the state working committee we know where we are coming from and we know where we are right now on honor and glory to almighty god for giving you that strength to stand right and steadfast to face the challenges today, we know that God is with you. And we cannot not obey with you even until the end of time. Top leaders of the PDP were in attendance. Best orator reporting for BTV News.